So it's been a long time since we've filmed a sit down video. It has. There's a buddy in the corner of this video. He's never been in one. No, you have never been in a sit down video, have you? He does not. He doesn't care. know why he's in it now. <laughs> so this is our Disneyland Paris haul for our trip in what month are we in? November? November 2018. I don't know yet which way up these are going. I don't know if you're going to see this first or the trip vlogs first. If you see the trip vlogs first, then you will be expecting this. The first thing we got was annual passes. So I got the Infinity Pass and Beck, Chris and Carl got the Magic Plus. It only cancels out, is it 15 days? So. Yeah. And there is about 150 euro difference in price on these. So mine was 399 euros and these were 259. So it say on there, does it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. It's observant. So, yes, but we can, they can use my discount with this as long as I'm with them. So we figured if one of us had the infinity, that kind of covered a lot of the benefits. And as Beck said, it's only 15 days that I can get in and they can't, so. Um, you're not really gonna go with ours. I mean, am I? They don't know. Um, <coughs> also, know. with mine, it comes the Infinity Photo Pass. So this gives us the photos for the full year. I'm sliding. <coughs> yeah, um, I have to be honest, I wouldn't pay for a photo pass at Paris, in Paris. I possibly would like first trip. Yeah, but these are it's normally, quite nice to have though yeah but they're 80 euros for 10 days normally and there's just not enough photo opportunities for me to pay that you look really interested in that little bottom corner there <laughs> buddy good boy um so yeah that is the first thing we bought so the reason i said we'll do these first we will give you we're not going to give you prices verbally in this video what i will do is on the screen i will put the Full price, the annual pass holder discount price. Hello. <laughs> and the English conversion for that on the screen for you for everything that we bought. What did we do? But yeah, so that was the, I think this was actually literally the first purchase of the trip as well. When it got these all sorted, we are annual I mean, we pass holders. We tried to buy drinks, but the vending machines hated us. Yeah, like both airports as well we bought, bought a drink from a vending machine in both airports and both vending machines took our money with no drinks so we will start with the stuff we got outside of the parks and then on to the park stuff i only bought one thing out of the park one of the other things i did pick up at the parks was a cold so i'm going to apologize if my voice is all ugh, during this um so one of the things I, I picked up at the airport this was actually at paris charles de gaulle airport and technically i made carl pay for this for christmas for me um, is the Hollywood Gravity Mud Glam Glow Firming Treatment because it smells like pina coladas and I've wanted to try the Glam Glow masks for a while. This is the 15 gram one and it was actually probably about 15 euros I think. I know some are not in do prices but I don't know if I have a receipt for that. But yeah if I do then I'll put the actual euro price and the pound price on the, um, on the screen somewhere. Somewhere. But yeah, so I'm excited to give this a go. Obviously, I haven't opened it yet, but we have the little purple glam glow pot there. So, looking forward to getting that for Christmas. One of the other purchases from Charles de Gaulle was actually our mum's Christmas present. Um, and that is the Chanel Chance uh, Eau de Toilette I picked up. Uh, the 50ml bottle, because that's what she wanted for Christmas, so makes sense. And also, I think it was about... £10 cheaper than what it is to buy it in UK stores so that's why I picked it up at the airport. Um, then oh, a lot of chocolate. Yeah we kind of have just the snacky things. Now these, you may have heard us talk about these before. These are amazing. Beck and I spent a lot of time in France as kids because Not our grandparents. Disneyland, no. no but our grandparents live in France and we sort of became a bit obsessed with these. So every time we go to France, we bring back at least eight packet. They used to be a lot cheaper though. They did. They're what? Three euros fifty something I'm like sure that. So they now? used to be like eight cents or something. Or something. Yeah, it was. They are expensive, but they are worth it. If you like praline chocolates, then I highly, highly recommend these. So yeah, picked some of these up, and then. Sorry, there's just another dog joining us. It's fine. <laughs> Um, and then something I discovered this trip, which actually I 
did get annual pass on to discount on randomly is the Starbucks Peppermint Candy Cane Chocolate Bar. Um, so if you use the Starbucks at Disney Village then your discount does apply to food and drink there. Which we didn't know the first time and you had to tell us. Yeah, but these are amazing and I love like peppermint around Christmas and stuff. So um, we actually bought four, two to have just generally and I'm gonna wrap one each up for me and Carl for Christmas because we'll have forgotten about them by then. So I know it's a bit weird because technically we bought them but they're going under the Christmas tree. Did we do a haul for Florida? No, we had never ended up filming it oh, <laughs> because well, we kept getting distracted. I bought the lounge fly bag that matches this purse. And I managed to find the purse in the mall, wasn't it? Yes. It, it's really, I just love it. It's all like vintage style tattoos, but Star Wars. They've got um, quite a few in this sort of style. They've got a Guardians one, but we, we can't really find it, can ones. we? We found it in Florida in a in the malls. But it was a lot more expensive. It's just standard purse. But we found this. And it was cheaper than getting it in the park, wasn't it? So. Yeah, I can't remember what the shop was called. It was like a weird little shop um, at uh, Val de Europe Mall. But yeah, it worked out like 20 odd euros or something crazy. 30 euros. Something like that. Which, when you think the bags are like in the region of... Well, I wanted to get... Because you've got a Star Wars lounge fly bag, a different one, that I bought, I think, on our honeymoon trip for Beck for her That's birthday. Star collection. And I wanted to buy her the matching purse, and I think it was like $95 at Walt Disney World. So, what about that? This sass face. Can you see this sass face going on up here? What are you two doing? Cheeky monkey. Okay, so last couple of things that I got outside of Disney, and then we can get on to the Disney stuff. Um, this one technically is Disney. Hi. <laughs> it is Disney, but this actually came from the Primark oh. at Val de Europe, Sit. and this is a Christmas present for Sit. our friend who actually stayed home and looked after these munchkins. Crazy. Um, and this is the practically perfect in every way wash bag, and it is really pretty actually. Mary Poppins isn't necessarily one of my favourites, but I mean, Mary Poppins. The new film, though. Yeah, and the range in Primark at the moment is stunning. I could have bought her all of it. Um, so yeah, and that one was seven euros, and um, obviously we don't get discount there, so <laughs> it was seven euros, and again, I'll put whatever the English convention is on the screen. But yeah, that's really cute, and I'm really excited to give her that for Christmas. Currently, it's full of all the receipts and nonsense, so we'll put that down carefully somewhere so we can get back to those. Um, and then the last few things were from Sephora. One of them um, I actually just picked up for Emma, the uh, cucumber cleansing wipes because she was messaging me a couple of weeks before we went and said that the cleansing wipes from Sephora are amazing. So I picked some up while we were out there because I'm nice like that yeah, sometimes. And you can go watch their channel because they're good. Yes, yeah, I will obviously link their channel down below and I'll put a little subscribe thingy on the end. You definitely should check out Emma and Ashley's channel if you haven't already because we love them. <laughs> um, and then while I was in Sephora, it would have been rude not to buy anything. And there's kind of a story behind this, in that I like to do a face mask on a Tuesday night and I forgot to take a face mask with me. The irony being that I then forgot to do said face mask. Didn't we have a late night Tuesday? Yeah, because we packed Tuesday night when we got back and I was so, so cold and I went and got in the bath and I was going to do the face mask in the bath and I didn't anyway. Long boring story. Basically I bought a face mask. <laughs> Um, so I actually went for the anti fatigue and energising pomegranate face mask which I, as I said, then forgot to use so I'll probably use that on Tuesday while I am editing our next vlog. So these are cool. Yeah and then I picked up these which you can show as you know I've stolen them. They are like blemish patches. Um, I've seen these on like that people keep testing them and stuff. Yeah, I actually picked up two packets of these. You basically just put them on for eight hours. You can use them either day or night, I suppose, perhaps depending where it is. So if it was on your face, you can pop it on before you go to bed and then take it off in the morning and it's supposed to like pull all that nasty out. So I will be giving those a go when I need to. If you want to know if they work or not, I'm sure she will tell you. Yes, if you want to know if they work, drop a comment in the box below and I'll let you know as and when I've tried them. Um, so that's all the stuff we bought outside the parks. Um, most of that was Val de Europe. Sephora is at Val de Europe. We did go and check out the Val Village outlets again. Nothing there this time. And I think they're taking cat kids out. Yeah, so we weren't feeling it. 
So, you may have noticed somebody just appeared, and that would be the giant Stitchy. So, Carl actually technically bought me him for Christmas, but he just... You seemed... can't really hide him. No. And, let's face it, it would be mean to wrap him, wouldn't it? Do you think? So, yeah, it's we've got soft. my giant Stitchy. I have actually been wanting him the whole time we have been going to Disney parks. Like, the whole time. And I actually asked on the last day of Florida if I could buy him and carry him home. You've asked every time we've seen him if you could carry him home. Yeah, and Carl said no. But we had um, a 23kg case between Carl and I that was at about, what, 18 and a half when we weighed it at the hotel? Yeah. Before we left, so we had enough weight for Stitchy, so he came home. He was very squished, though. Yeah. But now he's all out of the case and not squishy. <laughs> Soon. Okay, so Giant Stitchy's going to sit back there while we finish this vlog. Um, I'm actually going to show you the free souvenirs we had. So oh, um, still got that. we picked up some fast passes for Thunder Mountain with every intention of using them and then we didn't. So we ended up on Aerosmith about six times instead. Yeah, because the wait was like five minutes. And so. then it's like, oh, we've run out of time to get back to your park. Yeah, but these are always good. I like doing little scrapbooks, um, and we've also got a big memory box of stuff, so just figured these are always good to keep if you don't use them. Um, something else I picked up, I actually have uh, three copies of, <laughs> of both of these. Um, two of them I'm actually sending to Emma from Emma and Ashley, because her and her cousin are going for their first trip in January. Um, so I thought it'd be fun for them to have some maps that they can look over before they go. And then I also have a copy of each that I like to keep. Um, and then what I do is for each different trip, and I do this for Florida as well. Um, but yeah, so we have both park maps here. And I just like to mark off on each trip what we've done. So yeah. Have you done that? Not on this one yet. I've... And these are great free souvenirs. These actually have my work keys on because I'm using them at work. But because we bought the annual passes, Sarah, or oh, I was eyeing this up and they went to the, the second day you went to the park a bit earlier than us? Yeah, it was the Sunday. You weren't quite ready, so we went and had a wander around what Disney Studios. But she got me a lanyard. I'm going to have to stand up, so. Because it's long. But it's this cute Alice thing. They seem to have a lot of stuff in this design, don't they? Like, yeah, they do. But it does have a stormtrooper on it, which looks a bit odd. But yeah, I just keep my work keys on it now until we get to go back and then I might have to buy a new one because this one's white and yeah. I work in a warehouse. So. <laughs> okay, this is literally my bag of nonsense. I'm just going to go from the top and we'll just go with it. So the first thing that is coming out is Maleficent and I freaking love this teddy. And I love the fact that you got it in Paris where she is. Yes, yes. Um, so I do like to collect some of the Disney plushes, mostly the animals, I think, because the people plushes freak me out. Their faces aren't right and yeah, they scare me. Yeah, you have to search a lot to get a good face for those. Yeah, and I love that you could get her in her dragon form. And as Beck said, the dragon is at Paris as well. So that's quite cool. And it's really like, I don't know how that's going to pick up on camera, but she's really sparkly. Very cool. Love her. Now you just have to keep Buddy away from her. Yeah. And I said I was going to pick up one plush per trip, but now we have two plushes. Oh, look how silly she looks next to Stitch. She looks so tiny next to Stitch. I'm just literally just going to pull things out and we'll just go with it. Um, so this is kind of a twofer because Chris very kindly bought me the Stitch um, pouch. I was like, what is this thing? <laughs> the stitch pouch um, to keep my annual pass in. This one actually works perfectly because the annual passes, I'm not going to show you because obviously all the information, but it has um, like all your name, etc. on it. Um, the annual pass has a QR code and your picture, which is what the cast member will check and they fit nicely. I think they sit here, if I remember correctly. Um, but Stitch then covers all your personal details because it does have like your name and all that sort of stuff on it. So it's quite nice if you're wearing it around the park, it does cover and then the your information. Side, you had your photo pass. Yeah, which the other side is clear-ish. It's got a little pin trading logo, but that doesn't get in the way. So they can still scan the barcode through it, which is quite nice um, for that. 
and it's also attached to this very nice Christmassy lanyard which I really didn't need I have the illuminations lanyard but I forgot to take it and you I wanted it. the Christmas one I'm not gonna lie so if I show you the card it gives you an idea of the design I um, could have done that so <laughs> it is the uh We've got all five or six. One, two, three. We have five. Oh, and Chip and Dale. So we have Goofy, Donald, Mickey, Tick Minnie, tack. Daisy, and then Chip and Dale slash Tick and Tack, depending where you are. Um, and then again, we have a load of the characters um, on the lanyard itself in their little Christmas getup. So didn't really need it, but I really wanted it. So it happened. Not even a little bit sorry about it. I can't spell anything. What have I put here? Okay, now I can. Whoa. All right. <laughs> there is a story behind this. When I moved, my big box, I bought a big box of Alice in Wonderland tea in Florida, but it got damaged. They didn't have that, but they did have this lovely, can't see, loose tea, which tastes like warm banoffee pie. It smells like banoffee pie too. We tried it last night, it's actually really nice and it's in a cute little tin. Yeah, that is very sweet. Cute. This is actually Chris's Christmas present, but he does know about it, he got to pick it, so it's fine. And, and this may go up after it. Christmas, we're not sure. But yeah, we were in the Arebus Brothers um, sort of shop under the castle and he saw this and we all knew he'd love it. And I still needed to get his Christmas present anyway. So I just said to him, do you want to just pick a lamp? and that will be a Christmas present. So he picked the um, kind of yellowy one, which to be fair, What's I think, the nicest yeah, one? it is the better one because Aladdin's lamp is gold. And then they fill it with all these stones that mean like all these different things. He's got the um, picture. Yeah, the picture of like the list of what they all mean, but it was things like honesty and friendship. And I'm sure that, you'll send you the picture. Yeah, so it so might be in. If yeah. I can, I'll put it on the screen. But yeah, it's just a really sweet, um, and it's all blown glass and then they actually seal it so you can't, Tip topper out, top stopper out. Um, so yeah, that's really cute. And I'm sure he'll have forgotten about this again by Christmas. So he'll be very excited. Very, very dainty though. So yes, it okay. is. Uh, okay, so the next thing is actually another present for Emma from Emma and Ashley. Um, and that is this villain's autograph book. Again, because she is going in January. I thought it'd be a nice little uh, treat for her there. So yeah, we have, uh, Cruella, the Evil Queen, Captain Hook, Maleficent, and Queen of Hearts on the front. And then you actually have Jafar and some of the villain signatures on the back. So I'm sure she'll be very happy when she gets this. And I'm sure she'll be happy with filming this so I can actually send her this stuff. Yes. Cool. The next, I seem to have a thing about this in Paris. I don't know why, but I seem to always buy a tea light holder. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. My camera had a bit of a freak out. Um, so the next one is a present for Steffi and Dave from The Adventure Zoo. Again, I'll link their channel. Um, it is the Mickey's 90th Mouse Party Simpson because I know they like to collect the Simpsons. And uh, yeah, I just thought it'd be nice for them to have something from the Mouse Party. So that's for them. Which we unfortunately couldn't get to. No, we are going to try and speed this up a little bit just because we're aware this is getting quite long. But... Is it you or me? I don't know. How many things have you got? I don't know. You go next. I tend. I seem to have bought a lot of stuff for work, but I bought a travel mug just because I can take coffee and tea onto the floor, but it needs to be able to be able to be, be sealable. Yes, I need to be able to seal it. So I just went for the Minnie Mouse Paris one. Very glittery. Um, You're not going to lose it. No. Like you can see that. Matches my hair. Coffee. Okay. This is actually for me, and it's one of the few, I think this is the only thing I said before we went that I wanted. And it is the Starbucks You Are Here collection. So technically it's not from the park, but it's kind of from the it park. It says Disney Parks on it. Yeah, it's job? from Disney Village. And I went for the Disneyland Paris, as in the Disneyland Park one. There is actually one for Walt Disney Studios, and I didn't know that until we got out there and it threw a whole thing in. But we will possibly oh. be having a sneaky trip. 
Oops. Yes, so we have, uh, this is Disneyland Paris up here. Oh, X-Wing, we have Space Mountain, It's a Small World, obviously the castle, uh, we've got the train line down here, and then we have Big Thunder Mountain. And actually it has what looks like a little Christmas tree, which I really like because it was a Christmas trip. I am gonna have to make you watch Star Wars. Yeah, maybe. And it's blue inside, so yeah, happy days. I actually beat Sarah to a trip this year because every year she tends to buy me a Disney Christmas tree decoration. Or just a tree decoration. And they tend to be Disney, let's face it. They didn't but start I that way. found this one. Am I still in this? Will you just focus? Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a little white rabbit. That chain is actually a chain, which makes me very happy. I'm actually just using this as like a little ornament at the minute. He's just sat on my chest of drawers. And I feel like this one's great for our tree because me and Sarah are always late to everything. So it works. It's a real problem. That actually leads really nicely into what I've just picked up. Because this one is for Carl's mum for Christmas. And it is also a tree decoration. And it is the, sorry, the lighting I feel like has gone horrible. We'll go with it. It's a Tinkerbell. Oh yeah, that keeps happening. You do hook the thing on this, which is very annoying because it keeps coming off. But it's just Tinkerbell. Um, it's like a traditional little um, lamp holder, isn't it? It's very sweet. And she just sat there in her little Santa outfit. I don't know how well that's gonna focus because it's focusing on the glass rather than on Tink. Ah, there we go. So yeah, very cute little Christmas decoration there that I'm sure Paul's mum will love. However, she doesn't stand up very well, so I'm going to rewrap her quickly. Okay, next one is um, a Christmas present for Dave from the Adventure Zoo. Um, again, I'll link their channel down below. You did find this. Um, I'm not going to put prices up for anything that's a Christmas present for someone that may watch the video because I just don't think I just don't want to. So there you go. You can't make her. Yeah, you're not the boss of me. Um, so <laughs> way weird. Uh, it's just this little like figurine from Oliver and Company. So we have Dodger and I believe Oliver. I haven't watched the film in so long, so I'm so sorry if that is wrong. Um, but yeah, so there we go. And it's actually really, really cute. And he has his sausages in his mouth. This was something we actually found reduced. Yes. On a cold day, which was brilliant. Um, <laughs> Double effort, I'm just holding up this jumper right now. To be fair, that seems very large. Yeah, they're not. It's nowhere near as big as we've made that look. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you found that on 50% off, didn't you? Yeah, so it's got little cutouts on the shoulders. Mm, yeah, it's just got Alice on it. I don't know if you've got the hint. I really like Alice in Wonderland. Alice is definitely your thing, isn't it? Yeah, and I really love the range they do bring out for her. Like, it's always really pretty range yeah, that they do. Which never goes with how I normally dress, but it's fine. We like to mix things up. Or bag. Oh, so, I did have one of these, but I gave them away. Already. Yeah, these are actually for presents as well. Um, we just have a couple of box of Mickey cookies. So one of these is to go in for Emma and Ashley's Christmas present, and one is just to go to Steffi and Dave now um, with their other thing that is in the bag. So, yeah. Nice little presents, and these I don't mind telling you, they're about, yeah, two euros fifty, so they're nice, like, little inexpensive presents, just to yeah. give people a little Disney touch. This is kind of the set of uh, what we are giving, giving to Emma and Ashley. So I have Emma's. I have Ashley's. Which is the Donald mug, so you just have Donald there and Disneyland Paris, and then he's very angry on the back there. But she, I think, will love this because Emma loves Donald and Ashley loves Goofy. So we have Goofy on the back and on the front there. And I really like the like reversal of colours because you usually find Donald is on the blue. But I kind of liked the colour reversal going on there. The, they're very sturdy mugs. They're so chunky. I love these mugs. Yeah, I do. Sometimes they can be a bit delicate, and but they're like proper chunky. That's a, that's a mug. <laughs> We actually walked up to each other in the shop, both oh. holding these at the same time. You can see I've taken the sticker off because it was 50% off on these as well, but they're just... I don't know if you're actually going to be able to see the details on these because they are very dainty. But they are the same range as... Oh, a bit that way. 
it should hopefully focus. Yeah, they're the same range as the lanyard um, and the jumper as well, isn't it? Because they've yeah. all got the same range, but they're just like little Alice pens. Although annoyingly, the lanyard didn't have 50% off and the whole rest of the range did, but right. hey, it's fine. So like this one's like probably my favourite. This is just the white rabbit. Yeah, it's very, very cute. Um, so the first one, I think you've got one of these. Have you got the same one? This one? Yeah. So this is something Carl and I started on our first trip in 2012. And since then I have collected one for every trip. And that is the medallions. Um, so me and Beck both have the 2018 one, which is here. Chris has all of them. Yeah, Chris got a bit overexcited and tried to collect all of them. So we're not going to go through all of them because it will take ages and some of them have been around for quite a while now yeah so he did get the mouse party as well though oh okay yeah so we collect one generally for the year each year so i've got uh the 2018 i think the only one i'm missing is 2016 or something like that um and then we also got the mouse party one which is just there these again are like two euros um, and there's machines dotted all over the parks in Disney Village, so you can just pick these up anywhere. But they're nice little souvenirs. Which your mouse party did quite well onto the, on the things I bought. Which again is for work, because apparently all I did was buy work stuff. But my desk has like metal bars, that makes it sound like a prison. But it's not, it's all the shelving. Um, but I bought one of the shopping list ones, which the magnets so i can magnets. well to be fair there's free magnets on this it's not going anywhere yeah but i thought it was really cute it's got the little key it's a mouse party and a little happy mickey this is another one of the things that i like to get every time i visit somewhere new and i actually said i wasn't gonna do this which is lamp paris this time which is by a fridge magnet however this one was too freaking cool not to so <laughs> Uh, I actually did pick up a fridge magnet again this trip. So we have this one where we have Space Mountain down here, have Thunder Mountain, the castle, Earful Tower, Hollywood Tower of Hotel, and Mickey Mouse. That was a very quick run through. But yeah, I wasn't going to buy another one, but I couldn't help it. Also picked up a magnet again for Steffi and Dave, um, and that is the world's biggest mouse party. So we have Mickey there in the middle. Um, and just some of the other characters dotted around and it says Mickey Mouse Mouse Party so send that over for them with their cookies which I am sure they will love. This is my Okay. It is a group! I don't know if I can see it. There we go. Baby group! Baby group. This is a very happy baby group. And I haven't put them on my keys yet because I knew that I had to film this, so he's going to go on there now. So say so we actually have to put all this away now because it's all been in bags. To be fair, most of my stuff is for work, so I just need to take it to work with me tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and my last thing is a pin. Um, I don't massively collect pins. I don't collect a lot of like all the collections and things because I just, I know what I'm like and it would cost me a small fortune. But I do like to buy pins that I want to keep, so if anything happens on a trip um so like i bought disney world we bought like the not so scary and food and wine and things like that um so for this trip it only seemed appropriate to get the annual pass holder pin yeah i think we're gonna have to take a picture but i just wanted to get that one to keep so that can go on my court board downstairs because it is the first time for us as pass holders um and that's the only pin i actually bought i was very good although i did forget to take my trading pins and i was a little bit mad Next time. Just a little bit. But I know where they are now, so they can come with us on our next trip. Look how smiley he is. He's very smiley. Right, so that is actually everything we bought, which was actually more than I thought it was. Once we got into it, there was actually a bit more than what we thought. So if you if you continued watching this so far, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye from Sleepy Puppy. He's very sleepy.